So I've always advocated for Mortal Kombat, even Mortal Kombat 1 that had, uh, and maybe still has major issues. People always bag on it, they hate on it. I'm always backing it up like, no, dude, it's so good. We got some cool things here and here. And I'm not gonna lie, the more and more I play it, the more and more I see the issues, I see the problems, and it just becomes harder and harder to kind of represent the game in a, in a very positive way. It is very fun and I do love the game. Let me make that very clear. I love it, I'll always play it, but I'm also a realistic person and I do see the problems and the issues that it does have and the things that it's not fixing and shout out to Ruby or Melina Khan on this tweet this thread here where they say a thread about mk1 problems so I was like oh okay what are the problems what are people seeing and like can I debunk any of them and they say not saying a word the images speak for themselves so here we go let's go ahead and just go through these images and kind of decipher what are the issues in Mortal Kombat 1 and do we agree with the issues or not meaning are they actually issues or is it just somebody getting mad the first thread right here is the pictures of Lee Mei and and uh, again, the pictures just speak for themselves. So what they're saying here is when they when they brought the Deception skin to Lee Mei in Mortal Kombat 1, as you see here from Deception, very skimpy, scandalous. Mortal Kombat was kind of always known for the sexy female characters. And since like Mortal Kombat X, they've kind of just steered away from that and dressed the females more and more. And then they brought this new skin to Lee Mei where when she does certain poses, you can kind of see some butt cheeks. Butt cheeks. So I'm gonna take a wild guess here and they're saying the problem with Mortal Kombat 1 is they're afraid to show female skin and then they do it here So where the hell are these skins at? We need these skins and I kind of agree not to be like skimpy or scandalous But they're Mortal Kombat characters. They always have been so no need to change them or their outfits in my opinion And I mean everybody I'm talking like Sub-Zero, Reptile, Lee, Mei, Ashra, whoever I like the new outfits they bring but I don't see a problem with an outfit like this personally Is that a problem or more of a personal thing? I it's hard to say in my opinion. Oh, okay yeah, this was a this was a really and this is a big issue This is a really big issue of Mortal Kombat 1 paying for fatalities not only paying for fatalities But paying what feels like top dollar. They want ten dollars for a fatality They tested the waters for the first Halloween fatality and said this is ten dollars for a single fatality They got a, they got a lot of backlash from the community and then they're like oh no this is actually a bundle you're gonna get all the seasonal fatalities for the one that you already purchased which made it a little better yes but we know they got caught in their greedy ways and tried to make up for it they tried to like backpedal and say oh no it's part of a bundle that this definitely is a problem i think like now, I don't mind like paying very small amounts. Like if this was like a dollar, okay, fine. I'll pay you a dollar for like a whole bundle, whatever. I get it costs money and time to animate these things. I understand that. But $10 for fatality, you want $10 for a single skin. You want a sixth or a seventh of the cost of your entire game for a single skin. Yeah, that's gotta go. That's a massive problem, I feel like. It's been, in any game, in any paid game, if I pay you $70 and you wanna you wanna sell me extra stuff, you better be making that a bomb ass deal. I'm talking like, hey, here's these five skins, $7, like $1.20 a piece. Okay, maybe I'll think about it. But $10 for one or per fatality is just, is just, is just disgusting. And then the picture here is just the premium items in the shop for Mortal Kombat 1. And these aren't even like full on skins. These are just gear. So it's like, hey, 300 dragon crystals, which is three bucks. You want $3 for a digital mask to put on my character? Not even a full-fledged skin. Like I might pay $3 for a full-on skin that looks awesome, that comes with like three or four gear pieces. That'd be cool. But you want $3 for a single mask or a single small weapon here or a headpiece. It, it makes no sense. Like I know it's only $3, but for what I'm getting out of it, that, that $3 is just not worth it. Again, I might pay $3 for a full skin bundle. It comes with some gear pieces, sure, but not this man not this <laughs> and this video right here it definitely is a problem like peacemaker himself has some issues for sure the zoning is just crazy and he's fighting another zoner Liu Kang can also zone back but with peacemakers built-in anti-zoning move that has amazing length time it is out there forever and just being able to zone you out with the gun and then eagerly and then Kano to make him safe and by the time he gets all this out he's already building bar and, and then Kano's already back with the cameo bar so it's like you can't really do anything even the teleport you can't do that yeah massive problem there a am I gonna fix that do I know how to fix that no I don't this just seems like the devs have to work on this and either add recovery or make certain cameos change there's certain changes that can and need to happen this to me isn't like a large scale issue it's just an issue that happens with fighting games the character comes out they have some broken stuff and it has to get patched but also what's the point of video game testers if they're not going to test this stuff out like you're telling me no devs or testers tested this before 
Peacemaker's actual launch and said, hey, I could do this in the game. Maybe we should fix that before we actually release the character. I don't know. I'm not a tester or a dev, but this definitely is also an issue, I think. And then this right here is just a major example of bugs. So we do a brutality here. You see the head it's supposed to pop off, but it goes through the body instead. It's just, it's just a big example, a very clear visual example of the bugs that can happen in a game like this. And the problem with stuff like this, is like the game had like what, four or five years of development. It came out and you're still having these weird minor bugs that sh honestly shouldn't be in the game at all so i get that that's the bug issue yeah and then this picture right here for the uh the switch port i think they've i think this has been fixed since this since this picture was taken it still doesn't look amazing but when the switch port first launched this is actually how it looked and you can see the comparison to ps5 xbox pc i'm not gonna lie to you i don't even know why they made a switch port to begin with i it's it's way past my scope i don't think it should be on the switch at all you're telling me it takes over 120 gigs on my ps5 and it needs all this super high powered stuff but then you're like yeah let's go and put on the switch makes no sense this is just <laughs> this is just a picture of megan fox voicing natara <laughs> It's not look, it's not like a game breaking issue. It's just after hearing her for so long and so many voice lines using Natara is just it's not it's not great. And as an audience, I think the message here is, you know, we feel like you used Megan Fox for marketing when in reality, she was just not the best choice for this character's voice. John Cena did a better job at Peacemaker. Ronda Rousey did a better job at Sonya in Mortal Kombat 11. And so to have terrible voice acting, I'm not gonna lie. It kind of throws the vibe of the game off, especially in the story mode. When you get to a very serious scene or whatever and you hear the voice lines you're like oh that that's out of place that's very weird <laughs> is it a game breaking issue no it's just like kind of sucks but they're not going to go and change all the voice lines they're not going to find a new act voice actor and say hey can you redo all these voice lines we've already gotten from this character that's too much time too much money they're not going to do that now this one i really agree with they're showing off stage fatalities from previous game and i get the message there's not stage fatalities in mortal kombat 1 yet will they ever add them i i'm sure they will but again the game had four or five years of development why was there not stage fatalities what we feel like is probably and should be a staple in the game it wasn't there at launch and we're six months later and it's still not here like there's still no stage fatalities there's no mercies there's no stage fatalities there's no friendships all we have is fatalities brutality fatalities they tried to monetize and have you pay for and they also made sure to include quitalities because they know how toxic their community actually is and they're like hey everyone's quitting let's go ahead and make sure we still include quitalities Ha ha, how fun the people quit mid match. But, sir, should we put in uh, stage fatalities? No, Jimmy. No. So, yeah, that's also weird. And speaking of which, I'm actually worried for the day they introduce stage fatalities to Mortal Kombat 1. I'm worried that they're going to go, hey, we have six stage fatalities. If you want to be able to use them, uh, ten dollars. It's like what that's probably gonna happen which sucks now This one is actually a screenshot from one of the trailers or something They showed off and what they're showing off here is a stage that's not in the game and again the same worry It's it's, it's two things. It's it's well you have the stage here Obviously you have the stage built you're ready to rock it seems but also it makes us worry that you're gonna Sell this stage or maybe stage packs for five ten dollars like hey guys We we're gonna introduce four new stages ten dollars. <laughs> it's just like that, that that's the biggest worry for things we know they can do and probably will do in the future when it comes to like stage or you know stages or friendships or stage fatalities stuff like that they're probably just going to monetize it which again really sucks what they're implying here is they have so many staple and, and like classic iconic stages in the mortal kombat franchise that they just have not brought to the game and again i think they're going to i just think they're going to do this exact same thing right here these four stages probably and be like hey we're going to remaster these and remake these for mortal kombat one uh, here's a whole pack of the iconic Mortal Kombat stages. $15, please. And the worst part is people are going to buy it for sure. Which then tells the devs, hey, people are going to be buying this. Let's do it again. <sighs> Freaking rough, dude. This one I 100% agree with. It's showing off here. Puzzle, combat. We got motor combat, I think it was called. We got conquest mode. And then in Mortal Kombat 1, we got invasion. And invasions, when it first got like released or first like got a good glimpse at it, we're like, oh, that's really cool. That's their new like side game. Which is funny because like it it on the on paper it sounds okay but when put into practice it, it was just it's just not good i haven't played invasions since like season two and not because i'm following the online trends i literally just get so bored so fast because it, it really is just towers with you walking so you walk to the next fight and you fight you walk to the next fight you fight there's no real spice there's no real 
separation from that or maybe playing online combat league or just playing normal towers a lot faster and of course conquest motor combat uh combat chess these other side games they felt very unique they're not fighting at all they're very different like if you want to use sub-zero in motor combat for the for the ice moves using your cart that was really cool and it was like way different than fighting honestly they could make these they, they can make motor combat chess combat conquest and bring these to mortal combat one dude people would be buying that left and right i would buy that left and right are you are you kidding me but yet their thought was oh let's go and do it invasions because it's just so easy and costs way less money to just put towers of time fight on a map that you have to walk to we already have half of that developed it costs us way more money to make a whole new game mode and i know that's what's going on and that really sucks because they could have so much potential with redoing chess combat motor combat conquest all these side games they had or have had previously would be the coolest thing to have in mortal kombat one i feel like uh and this is the biggest one that i think is more opinion based the, you know the whole jade picture showing off let's bring back jade to mortal kombat one i i personally jade's fine she's great do i need to have her in every mortal kombat game no the correlation here is the empty spot there is kind of weird to have an empty spot i think they only had that there to make it more even on the character selection screen i don't know i'm not the game dev. i have no idea do i want jade sure she'd be great i think we do have melina we do have katana so i think jade would fit right in but i think they want to monetize her and bring her back as a dlc character make you pay for because <laughs> there's a lot of jade people out there that really want her in the game so i get it this one i think is showing off the customization for the characters like in mortal kombat 11 we had skins palettes and three pieces of gear to make the character feel really customized really unique and in mortal kombat 1 we just have a single gear piece and we have palettes for a couple skins obviously that's just right now hopefully in the future maybe by the time you're watching this there's a ton of skins per character a ton of palettes and a ton of wild and unique customizations to the gear pieces the characters have in mortal kombat 1 the problem with having one gear piece per character is some gear pieces like garris's you know chess piece or shang Tsung's wolverine claws aren't super noticeable in an actual fight some are like raiden's hat kung lao's hat like those are very noticeable changes in a fight because it feels like part of the whole you know outfit uniform whatever and so when you have three gear pieces you can change all three of them mix and match how you like and change the skin it did make the character feel a bit more unique to your customization and they kind of took that out in mortal kombat one which again yeah it kind of sucks yeah they're kind of showing off the same message here you know the customization the moves now the moves part you know how you can choose your special moves in mortal kombat 11 they're doing the same thing in mortal kombat 1 they just call them cameos like rather than adding scorpion's special moves to just scorpion you can be anybody that you want and use scorpion's special moves and they call it scorpion's cameo so that part they're doing the same thing in my opinion like, like I, I literally view cameos as just extra special moves you add to your character the only unique or special part is cameos come out on stage do the move and then they exit the screen so you see the character come out and do it rather than your character doing it but again it's just an extra special move it's fine like i don't I, that, 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 that's like all it is what they're showing off here is like i see here secret brutalities more brutality stuff like that so as of right now maybe there are a ton more secret brutalities in mortal kombat one that just haven't been discovered yet that's probably the case but what they're showing off here is is just brutalities and i think besides the whole secret brutality thing i think what the message here is there's not enough variety in the brutalities in mortal kombat one each character has like what six so they have the uppercut they have their grab brutality same with the cameos grab brutality and then every character has four other ones i think every character's armored move is actually a brutality and that's really cool so at that point you have like four unique brutalities that aren't the grab or the uppercut and i'm not gonna lie brutalities are my favorite way to end a fight in mortal kombat so to have more variety and more ways to do that i think would be amazing like i think in mortal kombat x tremor had like legit like 15 brutalities it was crazy but also so cool there were so many different ways to end the fight if you wanted to do brutality and in mortal kombat 1 there's like four, four or five you know it's not very much because it's not very often you're doing the uppercut maybe you'll do the grab i don't know i i do want more brutalities i do want more secret brutalities for sure but that's just me and then their last message here is screenshots from invasion so in, in invasions you do have enchantments that do certain things for your character they tried to bring the rpg elements to invasions to make it feel unique honestly i don't even use talismans or or enchantments for the most part and you can see stuff like this where it's like you some of the enchantments says you win ties and then you lose ties so ties like the whole message there is what's the point like who made this who decided to create this and go haha like was it a joke or was it just like 
they they just have some kind of AI writing enchantments ability, and then they without without like approving them, they just said, oh yeah, just ship it out. Well, people will do it's fine. Like right here, it says you deal 500% increased block damage, but then it says you deal no block damage. Like there's no way a competent person wrote that, right? It's either gotta be a joke or they had AI write it and then they just didn't even look over it. They just approved it and said, yeah, put it in the game, it's fine. Is it a bug? I don't think so. I think it was deliberate without being checked over. But again, who makes this stuff? Probably another reason I don't play invasions. Honestly, a really insightful thread from Ruby here. A lot of stuff that they have really good points on. I think a lot of it might, I think some of it might be more opinion based, like the whole Jade thing here. Saying that's a problem with Mortal Kombat 1, it, it, I think is more uh, subjective, more than it is objective. Like you might find a lot of people that really just don't like Jade, that don't care that she's not in the game. But stuff like this, I think is for sure a problem. Like all the other, the side games they have, like Mortal Kombat and whatever, and then all we got was invasions. We definitely need more stages. They've shown they can do more stages. We need stage fatalities. Please don't monetize them. Megan Fox is rough. Is Again, is a game breaking? No. The Switch version should never have existed. The bugs are still here, yes. Peacemaker's a problem, and there are some characters that, also, that are also problems. The monetization is just insane and needs to needs to quit it. Having sexy characters, it's Mortal Kombat. I get it. This was a thread by Ruby for the Mortal Kombat 1 problems. What 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 do you think? I agree with a lot of it. There are some that I just I, I don't care. Like, I don't care that we're not getting sexy characters. I don't mind that Jade's not in the game. If she does come to the game, great. I kind of, I don't really care. It's fine. But yeah, we need more substance to the game. We need more than just cross play that works half the time. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things to talk about. So again, let me know your thoughts down below on a lot of the points that were brought up in this video, in this thread. What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? What maybe we didn't touch on that you think is a problem in Mortal Kombat 1? Again, let me know your thoughts down below. Go ahead and click into these videos next for more guides, tutorials, news, and more. And of course, subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content.